What's up YouTube, this is Dennis Panuta for Tutorials.eu. In this video, I would like to make a 20K special video, so to speak, because we reached 20,000 subscribers. Thank you very much to everyone who subscribed. And I would like to share my office space with you, or at least show you what the office space is like, because it would be quite tight if 20,000 people would come in here. So I'm going to show you a little around and yeah, basically, this is my view that I have here. Not too interesting, I'd say. Also not so nice the weather today, but that's how it is in Germany in March, early March. And uh, yeah, so let's have a look here. So I have a couple of posters. Let's start with those. So the first one here, the six stages of debugging. And I think they're hilarious because number one is that can't happen. Number two is that doesn't happen on my machine. Number three, that shouldn't happen. Number four, why does that happen? Number five, oh, I see. And number six is the best one. How did that ever work? And uh, yeah, I've gone through these stages multiple times in the past and I can tell they're pr pretty accurate. <laughs> it's amazing because sometimes the compiler just makes it work and it shouldn't, it shouldn't work, but the compiler just does it, you know, like, uh, yeah, that's how it is. Magic. It's magic sometimes, which is why this statement is also quite good. So a uh, definition of a software engineer, um, it's a noun, amazing person who applies the principle of software engineering in magical way. And then synonyms are sorcerer. Uh, let me try to read back. Actually, I think it's easier this way. Wizard and magician. <laughs> Because I tried to read it from my camera, whatever. So yeah, then of course this one, I think you see it every time that I'm uploading a video. In case of fire, git commit, git push, git out. And then here I have a, a po post, I forgot the name, whatever. Uh, here I could draw some things, I barely use it. Uh, it's mainly my daughter who comes over and then starts drawing. She's four years old. She just starts drawing on top of whatever I uh, wrote. Then I have my whiteboard on which I uh, wrote down my goals and what I want to achieve, have, be, do and give. Then uh, over there I have my camera equipment as well as my workout equipment as well as my food. And uh, yeah, and that's my office table here with my computer. The microphone, of course, the camera as well, then the lighting, as well as this background, which reduces the echo that I have, which is why I also have a carpet in here. And then my favorite part of this office probably is going to be this treadmill here, even though actually it's the sofa. Sleeping on the sofa is the best, but uh, <laughs> and then uh, the treadmill is number two. So this is an office treadmill that I can use in order to uh, walk slowly so it goes only up to 7.5 or 8 kilometers per hour it can't go any faster than that so what I would do is I would then uh, set the table up to a height of well I have three buttons there it's button number three so it's a height of three <laughs> no it's just a, a customly set value and then I can just put that treadmill underneath and then just walk slowly and do my work Unfortunately, it doesn't work very well when recording because the treadmill is too too loud and that wouldn't work very well. Okay, so that is a little tour of the office. I can uh, show you a little more. Let's see. So here I have my goals. Basically, this one is a goal that I had set myself five years ago and that is 20,000 uh, euros of income a month. And then this is my new goal that I have said afterward and I haven't achieved yet, but I'm working on it. And this shows me that setting high goals that seem totally unreasonable at a time can be achieved. And uh, the time that I set this goal was, I think at a point where I made like five, 6,000 a month. And now it's the normal, you know, like this is how you can work on it. Like set a goal and then work hard to achieve this goal and visualize it, set it in front of your, face basically every day that it reminds you that you need to work on it and your mind will do magic for you and get things done and then also in the background on the camera itself i'm using camtasia in order to uh, create my courses and here i am preparing the next course that will come out on youtube it will be a four hour and 40 minutes video it will come out on Sunday and on Monday there will be, well actually, we're going to release the course also this weekend. 
but the launch will be starting on Monday next week. So it will be a 15 hour WPF masterclass and people have been waiting for it. And we listened and we created that course. And of course, we are still working on other courses. Also, I hired a couple of new people and the, well, the two guys, they will take care of Unity. So they are Unity developers and they are going to prepare Unity YouTube videos, but also courses. So there will be a Unity course coming out soon and I'm going to record it, of course, as always. And that will be probably in May, maybe in June, really depends. So the thing is, my wife is super pregnant and by super pregnant, I mean, she's almost done being pregnant because she's in the 39th week or something like that. So the baby could come anytime. Basically labor could start now. Like she could call me and say, Dennis, come home which is why I came by, by uh, motorbike and not with my bicycle. Otherwise I go to work by bicycle. It's like a 20 minute ride, super good, very good for my health and also listening to audiobooks in the meantime, love it. But uh, that is uh, not working right now because I need to be super quick to come home if something were to happen. So I have to um, go by a scooter and that takes like 10 minutes. So I save 10 minutes. Uh, well, I'm, I'm there 10 minutes faster and that is already what she she uh, definitely wants to have like this safety that I could come anytime or the secure, secure feeling so to speak. Yeah, and that is why I'm preparing a bunch of YouTube videos for the next couple of weeks because I want to be there for my wife for the time being. And um, yeah, the, the thing is with uh, birth, it can happen like now, it could happen like today, but it could also happen in two or three weeks. Or even four weeks from now actually so there's this this time frame of four weeks in which it, it would be a natural uh, birth so to speak and for my first daughter it was eight days before the calculated date so if that happens for the second daughter as well that will be in six six days roughly so yeah I, i'll get a second daughter super hyped about it well i'm super the thing is i i wasn't super hyped for the first child and the same for the second in the sense that i didn't feel it until it was here so only once the child was uh, was actually there, I, I really like felt it because for a man it's so different, you know. Like it's it's just there in in the belly of your wife and or of your girlfriend. Back then it was my girlfriend. Now she's my wife, and it's 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 not real until the baby is actually there. At least it didn't feel it didn't feel too much or too real. And also I was so focused on all of this course preparation. As you've seen recently, I've uploaded the ASP.NET course then the jetpack course for android and now the wpf course so there's constantly stuff going on really working hard on these the courses to bring good content to you and also to release new courses uh, to uh, well pay my employees and build my business which is a uh, very something that i enjoy a lot and recording courses is something i enjoy a lot as well and making youtube content and yeah thanks a lot for subscribing and uh, yeah, if you have any questions or any remarks, please let me know. By the way, just a quick update on what's about to come. I think I made a video a couple of weeks back, but we're constantly coming up with new ideas. So um, two years ago, I started this YouTube channel. Then uh, I didn't do much after three months or so. I didn't do much on the channel. It grew to 4,000 subs, I believe. And then we started to take it seriously. And that was last year in April, to, so 2020 in April. and. This year, starting from probably May, I believe we will upload at least three videos a week, maybe even five or six, seven videos a week. At least it's the plan to like, take this even more serious and put out a lot more content. And also next week, we're starting with a bunch of videos already. So actually for two weeks straight, there will be one video a day. And I'm super excited to teach you some more stuff. Thanks a lot for learning from me. I'm super happy to be your sensei. And also something that I didn't show you yet. And that is this here. One punch! So this is my uh, Japanese book that I'm learning to read. So here, Ima, uh, Ima no, wait, wait a second. Ah, so going na. Omae Ima no Nani. So yeah, good stuff, man. Love Japanese, a great language. Super interesting, a lot of fun, and one punch man is freaking awesome. All right, so that was uh, a little tour of my office, a little uh, video thanking you. 20k sub, 
special. I'm really uh, happy that we reached it. I'm proud of my team to uh, to help me out and to uh, reach this and proud of uh, well the work that we achieved here and I believe we can do a lot more. And in order to do more, I would really appreciate if you hit the like button so that we are motivated to do more. <laughs> Anyways, thanks a lot. Have a nice day. Stay coding or keep coding. Get better at coding. Keep learning and achieve your goals. I'm really, really excited to help you with that. And yeah, just update me on what's going on in your life and how you are uh, basically learning and what my courses helped you with or my youtube videos helped you with achieving i'd be very interested to hear from you and i wish you a nice day talk to you soon